Hello and welcome to today's seminar about electronic lab notebooks. My name is Thomas Roslucki and I work with Contur. Uh, and uh, I will be uh, hosting today's uh, seminar. Contour, we work with the scientific data management software. Uh, and we have worked with the uh, uh, R&D organization since 1999. So we have a few years of experience in this field and we have worked with both commercial uh, companies uh, and also a lot with the, with the academic world. We are based here in Stockholm, Sweden, uh, and we uh, serve customers worldwide. We have worked with electronic lab notebooks for, for quite some years now, and we originally worked together with BioVitrum and developed this system. So, um, jumping right to it. Uh, as you all know, the laboratories you work in today are highly computerized, and it's a completely different situation than if you look at uh, labs from 50 years ago or 100 years ago. Uh, they were very low-tech, understandably. Uh, today you have uh, advanced instrumentation, uh, software tools are commonly used. Uh, I don't know a scientist that don't rely on software tools today. But still, in all of this, uh, the paper notebook is still around and uh, commonly used by, by scientists. Uh, the paper notebook has been used for a very long time, so it's almost institutionalized in the uh, scientific world, and it's uh, uh, one of the most central tools for, for, for you. Uh, you work with it every day, you bring it with you wherever you go, so it's, uh, in that sense it's very convenient. Uh, but it's relevant to ask why, why, we, a why we use uh, paper notebooks, why do we document uh, our experiments. Uh, so of course, for any scientist, the main reason for using a notebook is really to, uh, to keep track of uh, the experiments and be able to go back and see what protocol was used earlier, uh, what were the results, the conclusions, and so on. So that's uh, probably common for everybody. Then, of course, depending whether you work in academia or whether you work in a company, uh, patent protection uh, is of significance when we talk about electronic, uh, when we talk about notebooks. So the notebook can be used in the future to prove that you invented something at a particular date in time. So therefore, it's important that you can read your notes uh, in 20 years and that you can go back and follow what, what was actually uh, done. Also, when you work with uh, animal studies and uh, when you uh, test the pharmaceuticals uh, in humans, uh, there are different quality standards that you need to comply to, uh, so show traceability and uh, high quality in your documentation. Uh, so that are basically the reasons why paper notebooks are used, or why notebooks are used in the first place. As you all uh, know, in, uh, you are here today, so you, you, you have uh, realized and uh, acknowledged that there are some uh, uh, bad things about uh, the paper notebooks. There are a lot of good things uh, about them actually because they are very easy to use and you can, they are very portable and you can carry them around with you wherever you go. So from that sense, they are very good. Uh, but they are not as good when you consider the, the, the computerization in the lab and that you already use software tools. You use Excel and you use uh, different uh, analytical tools and then you print that on paper and you stick it and glue it into the notebook combined with your, with your handwriting. Uh, so so it, it doesn't really facilitate uh, uh, today's uh, lab environment in a good way. Uh, also, if we look at the knowledge management aspect, it's not really optimal to search in, in paper notebooks uh, on a personal level, on a group level, on the university <coughs> level. So, uh, that's a, a great disadvantage to the paper notebook. And then you have the quality issues. Uh, when we have worked with customers uh, and we have talked about this, uh, often if you look at notebooks that are 10 years ago, if you can find them uh, for first, uh, there can be very big problems with handwriting and you cannot read what other people have written or even it's difficult to follow sometimes what you have written yourself. Also, you have the situation where dry glue can make printouts fall out uh, after a few years. So a very relevant question uh, you can ask yourself and uh, the, the group leader can ask himself and the university can ask himself or the company is we, 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 we invest this uh, great amount of time and effort uh, to document what we do uh, and a lot of money is uh, poured into research. 
So uh, it's really uh, a relevant question to ask if is the paper notebook really the best way to facilitate knowledge management, IP protection, and, uh, and have high quality in your documentation on a personal level, on a group level, and on the, so to speak, uh, university level. So these issues that I was just talking about, together uh, with increased acceptance of electronic records in, in, in uh, patent litigation, mainly in the US, which is a very important, uh, this first to invent uh, rule, uh, this has made uh, a lot of companies and uh, universities to start looking at electronic notebooks and many companies have ac actually made the leap and also uh, a few uh, academic groups are in that phase. So what is an electronic lab notebook? So an electronic lab notebook is a software program which is specifically designed to replace the paper notebook. Uh, it allows you to record the experiments more conveniently, uh, kind of taking advantage of the fact that you're already working in all these different software programs. So being able to, to uh, eliminate that extra step of uh, printing and sticking and cutting and so on. And also, most of the time, the experiments, the information is recorded to a central and searchable database so that you can access your experiments wherever you are working from in the world. Even if you are a team working from different geographic locations, you can still uh, sh share information. Uh, and also, only on, if on a personal level, if you are working at Karolinska a few years and then maybe you transfer to Australia or somewhere, just being able to access your, your, your notes uh, without having to take all the notebooks with you is, uh, is, is, is something an ELN can f facilitate. Uh, <coughs> so. In the, in the last few years, actually, almost every large pharmaceutical company uh, uses an electronic lab notebook in the research department. So it's become a very much a standard. Uh, also, if we look at the more uh, mid-size uh, companies, uh, here are a few examples of Swedish companies uh, uh, that are using electronic lab notebooks. And in, in the academic world, we have several users and groups uh, here, here at Karolinska. Uh, KTH in Oxford and in different universities. So s things are really starting to happen uh, and uh, 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 electronic notebooks are more and more becoming a standard. <coughs> so traditionally, our customers have uh, purchased our system, which is called Contour ELN, Contour Electronic Lab Notebook. Uh, they have, it has required that you have your, your own servers uh, you have to have your own personnel that takes care of the database, that uh, do the backups, and make sure that the system is really up and running. Uh, <coughs> so so uh, working in this way requires that you have the, the, the financial strength and also that you have the, the skills to manage a database system. So what we saw was that many academic scientists uh, don't have the, the necessary resource, resources and funds and they don't have the time to manage the database. So we wanted to create a solution which could uh, kind of get us closer to the academic scientists and to the smaller startup companies uh, with the limited resources. So <coughs> uh, we created uh, this iLabber, uh, which is a software as a service. So in the same way that you use Google Mail or that you use different web applications, uh, uh, iLabber is a Contour ELN online, so it's hosted in a secure data center and it's managed by, by our technical team uh, and in that way uh, uh, also uh, scientists and groups with very limited resources can get started with, with electronic notebooks. Before I hand over, just uh, for if you are interested to learn more, uh, there is more information on iLab.com. iLab is free for single users, so everybody can download it, use it, uh, for free, and uh, so, so that's uh, not a problem. Uh, if you uh, want to start a group and share information together, you have to become premium users. We offer academic scientists a significant discount of 50%. Uh, <coughs> uh, if you uh, need assistance uh, and need information, what you can't find on the website, just send an email to info at contour.com. <coughs>